Yo, what's up, dudes? <laughs> How's it going? Uh, so, I thought I would come on and show you this. The latest thing to make it to the basement. This is the Vola. As you can see right there on the headstock, Vola. Oz, that's the body shape and style. Um, TNC, which is... Um, <clears throat> I have no idea what TNC stands for. Give me your best guess in the comments. <laughs> that naughty cooler. <laughs> anyway, um, this is one of the top models for uh, a non-signature guitar on uh, uh, Vola by Vola, made by Vola. And this is uh, <clears throat> MIJ. Uh, this is uh, made in Japan. Uh, they don't really say where they're made, but from what I've heard, you know, on the rumor market, that it's in the same place that a lot of other many famous brands are made. <coughs> <coughs> what? <coughs> Oh, jeez, EVH. Uh, anyway. Uh, they, uh, they're made to Volo Specs, which is a roasted maple neck, stainless steel frets, it's got the Luma inlay sides, which I really love. It is a chambered mahogany body, which is just gorgeous. Um, they used to be non-chambered, and they weighed um, the ones I've weighed a couple before and after chambering. Um, one had an ash top, this, uh, and one had a maple top. This has a maple top, obviously. Shaved off about a kilogram. So it's not insignificant. It's it's quite a bit. So this guitar weighs six and a half pounds. I already weighed it uh, six and a half pounds. So it's it, it's it's a beautiful weight. It's not um, not heavy and it doesn't have neck dive or anything. It's just it's it's been it's a great. Um, they they do the the weight relief right. And of course you can see it's got this beautiful flame uh, maple uh, top to it. Let's see if I can get a little bit of the side there. And this is in the tribal black. You're like, what? It looks like an olive green. <laughs> it's just the way the the top absorbs it. Um, take a look at Henning's video, um, and maybe his cameras are just a little bit better than mine, but <clears throat> I'd say his looks more like black over maple than mine. I'd say this looks a little bit more like, um, you know what it reminded me of? The Jiva, the Ibanez Jiva. And um, I was talking to Hanning at one of the uh, NAM shows, and we were looking at the Jiva. And I said, yeah, and he said something like in black. I said, no, it's in, it's in like, it has this wonderful green color. He goes, that's not green. I'm like, that's not green? He goes, no. I was talking to Nita, and I said, I love the green. She was like, what green? The green of your signature guitar? She goes, that's black, but it's also over maple. <laughs> And I think just black over maple has a certain, unless you go all in and like really darken it so it's like full on black, like the Jiva wasn't either. She has like a quilt top, I think. So um, that is the tribal black. I, I tell you, in person, it is gorgeous. I don't even know that the cameras are doing it justice, but it is. A, and quite frankly, I think the color works with the, the color of the neck uh, really well. Um, they also make it in a, uh, a blue, which is also beautiful. There's a couple of videos out there with people playing the blue one, and a uh, almost like a um, like a sunburst, like a, not really summer, like a violin burst almost, right? It's a um, 
like a two color or a three color burst. Uh, all Goto hardware, including uh, locking tuners. I don't know if I can get those to see when my face is on camera. It wants to go to my face. There we go. I think you can kind of see it there. Maybe, maybe in this one. Not, not really. Uh, it's hard. <laughs> kind of moving around. But uh, locking Goto tuners. Um, it's a Goto bridge. And, uh, you know, again, just to show you the back here. I love the carve. So when I'm, when I'm up in the higher frets, unlike Henning, who plays the guitar like this somehow, or like that, I don't even know how he does it. But, you know, when you're up high, you want to get your hand up there. Boom. You can get right in that, that back area. Like, no problem. You know. You get something like that. Yeah, there you go. Anyway. Um, I already pulled the, the plastic off the pick guard, so I can't show you the pick guard pull. But, uh, it is a humbucker, single coil humbucker, and the middle pickup is reverse wound. So, when you pull this out and put this into single coil mode, or this into single coil mode, and you go in that in-between position, you will get a humbucker. So that's an, that's good, um, and it, it works in in either one, either this coil split or that coil split. Either way, you will get a humbucker when uh, paired with the middle pickup because of the reverse wind of the middle pickup. Um, in addition to that, and this coil uh, cut is um, not just for the bridge; it's also for the neck. So either one, simultaneously, they they both coil cut. Um, in addition to that, coil cut, um, you have this knob here as a push-pull. And this is just what we call an always-on. Uh, now, I've had this in a few guitars where the always-on was the bridge. This always-on is the neck. doesn't really matter, but usually what you, you pick is a, a pickup at the very end, either one way or the other. That way, if I'm here, if I'm all the way in the back, and I pull this out, right, I get these two pickups, which you can't really get any other way other than having that sort of system. In addition, if I go here to position two, I actually have all three pickups on. And if I pull this out, it'll be three single coils. <laughs> I, it's got a lot of electronics features to it. It really does. Um... And we haven't even got it into the black button yet. All right. And so uh, you can get all three pickups. You can do you know, the telly, you know, <clears throat> widespread to get that sort of quacky sound. And um, lastly, let's talk about the black button. The black button is, it's like a blower switch on steroids. So... Most blower switches that I've ever worked with, and I've had them in, I think, two guitars or three guitars, um, it usually just blows out the bridge. When you hit the switch, all the ele other electronics go, no matter where you are. Right? If I'm all the way on the neck and I hit that switch, it just goes to the bridge and directly wires the bridge to the, to the output, and that's it, right? It's the, the, the blower switch, they'll call it, or they'll call it, you know, a direct connect, or... A bypass circuit there's all kinds of names for it um, <clears throat> but the 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 gist of it is you the the tone doesn't work anymore uh, and the volume doesn't work anymore so here the volume works the tone works but there the tone doesn't work anymore the volume doesn't work anymore all right so if I an instant volume change to a preset volume. You don't have to work the knob. Right? Find your, your, your preset volume. And then and you can instantly switch between two different levels, right? Because this is completely bypassed. And it works on 
on all pickups. So again, that's why I, I kind of call it on steroids because it works for the whole circuit, not just um, the bridge, uh, which is usually the configuration I find. So you can get this instant volume change, you can get this instant tone change uh, by using this special switch. So I'm, I'm just saying, between the, the push-pull here, the push-pull here, and, you know, the, uh, the, by, the volume and tone bypass switch, there is a lot of tonal variation in this guitar. I mean, really. So uh, let's just go through the pickups uh, really quickly. I'm in humbucker mode. With the middle. Just the middle. With the bridge. And then the bridge. Now if I pull this out, you can hear the drop off. Single coil mode. Doesn't really matter for the middle pickup. Eh? Single coil mode with this pickup now. So single coil here and single coil here. And then bridge in single coil mode. And then back to humbucker. So I mean, just right there, <clears throat> just by using the single coil, um, you have all this tonal variation just built right in. Uh, in addition to that, like I said, you can pull this one out and get the... That sort of quack only comes from the separation of the two pickups. When the pickups are closer together, you don't quite get that sound. And of course, if I pull this out, now I have two single coils. <laughs> Again, just the, the tonal variation. Um, and then just to even take that a step further, uh, we can hit the blow button. Again, I'm, I'm doing these two pickups in humbucker mode. In single coil mode. Right, just such a variation uh, on board. No, no, <laughs> without a pedal board, folks. Yeah. So these have come way down in price. They're down to $13.99 with a hard shell case. They were $20.99 when they were going through dealers. That is a massive change in pricing. You know, that, that new EVH MIJ, uh, I'm just saying, it's a, it's a, uh, a $26.99 guitar. <laughs> not saying it's not a nice guitar. But, you know, some would say they're literally made in the same factory. <laughs> Not me, of course. I'm just saying that's, that's, that's the rumor. And this is $13.99 with a hard shell case. In addition to that, I don't know if this will work. If this will work it may not work. Try the code SFB5. 
SFB5. That should work site wide. And see if you can get an extra 5% off. Because why not? If you can, if it works, why not? So just give it a try. If you're making a purchase on there, it doesn't have to be the TNC. Anything. But try that code SFB5 and you might be able to get an extra 5% off. Of their already like nearly 50% off prices from where they were. You know, guitars that were 1500 are in like the low 1800, uh, low 800s, like 839. It's a 839 for an MIJ guitar? I mean, come on. Nobody is doing that. You can't even, even the MIM is up over a grand <laughs> for most models, it seems. You know, you stamp MIJ on it and you know, a lot of other brands, they're all north of 2000 bucks now. This was north of $2,000, but they went to a direct model, and the, the savings are go to the, go to the consumer, which I'm all for. I am all for it. Anyway, there you have it. I will leave a link in the description. The Vola TNC and... Uh, there you go. Try the code if you want to save an extra 5%. These may be back-ordered right now. They've had a run on all their guitars once they drop prices. So, um, But always check back. They're always getting new stock. So, um, And check out those other colors, some gorgeous colors. Uh, the blue is particularly attractive, I think. I think it looks real good. But I like this guitar. I think the color, I mean, uh, the, the color, I, I think it really works well with the, with the neck color, quite frankly. It really works. I like it. All right, dudes. There you have it, as always. Thanks so much for hanging out. And rock on.